Oh, I can taste it! Oh, yeah. Hey, child. Your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shit house. The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. These berries are the only thing keeping me alive in the face of such a vile smell. Need to be careful here. <laughs> Easy now. Something's not right. <coughs> 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 Smells like a trap. <coughs> 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 Easy now. Something's not right. <coughs> The stink from those crates is gone. But in my experience, if you do not cure the source, shit returns. My father, Diggolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him, that pox. Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. One day get down, but my heroic odor will persist. It is what gives me my special powers. God told me. Ow, oh, my manco! No! I'm soaked! Ah, water! I hate water! My coating is gone. My layer of sacred warrior shit has run off. Mother! You won't believe it! Father has been cleansed! We can live without the toxic clouds he once produced! 
Thank the good Lord! Baptized again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean! Our home also! Come here, my love, I can see your skin again! How does it feel to be clean again, Degolas? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mudball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's... nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer's skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. Hey, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed, no longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house, destroy my belongings, I will never get angry. Heathen, this is a place for proud converts like myself. I seek them. You seem lost. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground, and it will not change me. I seek those who wish to join the great and superior Holy Father. slaughter my livestock it is and all of this homestead the livestock this is all yours they are not mine but gods i have converted to god and now i share all things yes you mentioned that you see i am not angry make yourself at home it does not bother me you will soon change from your pagan ways Make a pyre of the past. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen. Lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean... That key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. My faith will not budge. This hut reeks. As if a battlefield. Corpses. Are these your other converts or your past crimes? 
You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite. With not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar! Full of false pride! You should be judged at an alding for your crimes! hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Oh, my heart's itch. Where is that rat? in him alive on sight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me a hand over here. Probably cowering within the monastery. Stop her! 
raise me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp. Before I let go, I burn this piece of ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built for me. God. Trust. That will take long. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So, my Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And, there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon.
Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Bah! Soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Not what I was expecting. Whoa. Fire is a blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing. Day. A new customer. You I do not recognize, my friend. What brings you to settle here? Are you merchants? Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last.
You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. I met him, Redda. A strange young man, but somehow charming. He'll make for fine company, I think. I look forward to knowing him better. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letterchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent.
Be my eyes, Sunan. Fish are biting. Ah, with this we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When work gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Your beggar is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. 
I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found the culture. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? And you see no to be dead. Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier. What would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Torben. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. I need your eyes, my friend. Abel! 
work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides... of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid, once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer, and accept it. And how do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I am ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Yom's Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest.
This river does not appear on many maps. Few know how to navigate it. But the Yom's Vikinga have been learning its skirts. An old friend said it was a smuggling route for Roman traders. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden. You could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Sail out! <laughs> Villages. Not hoarders of wealth, mind you, but well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations. My crew is like a pack of trained wolves. They will respond to your Let's go, Viking! Turns of the ship. A good haul! Let's go! I've had tougher fights in taverns. Well, stay alert. The smoke from the flames will alert camps downriver. The fighting will get tougher as we go. Let the sail out! There! Military camp! You will find foreign supplies and even gear if you're lucky. They will put up a fight. Come, my wolves! Must be blocked from the other side. Help me out here!
I thought you were a fighter, yet you didn't join the battle. Fighting your time for bigger fights. More of a captain these days. Odd, isn't it? A raider who doesn't raid, turns out, spending years getting damn near chopped in half leaves you with enough aches and stiff muscles to keep you both around. Now come, let us go. But...
Hey, come here a moment. Right, let's get back to the ship. That was invigorating, and as lucrative as I promised ya. Think we have got enough supplies here to put something together? Something like what? A place to stay where we can stretch out. Oh, wouldn't want to bother Adis and the rest. You know Adis? Uh, I... I know of Adis. Her reputation as a fighter and as a trainer precedes her. Simply wouldn't want to get in her way. I see. Well, we have space for a hall. And with enough supplies, we can make something in due time. since we've had a permanent place to gather and share stories. Come here to hire more Jomsvikinga for your raids. With time, it will attract some impressive fighters. Real talents, 